Hello YouTube, this is the review of the IBM ThinkPad T42. This is very, very, almost identical to the other video that I just did. So, I'm not really going to run down the boards and stuff because everything is almost identical. The only difference is it, it's now a Centrino, but it's still a Pentium M under it, which is an X68 based processor or 32-bit. It's running at 1.7 gigahertz while the other one's running at 1.6. So uh, not much of a difference. This one has one gig of RAM. The other one will have 512 megs. So that limited it to XP or Home Basic of Vista. You could um, somewhat cheat for say and run Windows 7 or 10 on there with 512 megs but with a 32-bit processor and Windows probably eating a lot of that RAM, you will be completely bottlenecked. So uh, unless you get another 512 meg stick and put in the other slot or you go in into the computer and upgrade the 512 megs to one gigabyte, you're kind of out of luck for running a more up-to-date version of Windows. Um, in this one, there is an 80 gig hard disk running at 4... 1200 rpm. I did get the original hard disk for this, which is a 40 gigabyte, 5400 rpm hard drive, but you get 40 more gigabytes, so bring it a little more closer to modern standard. But that slow hard drive is kind of pushing it back. So, um, it's IDE though. If it was a SATA hard disk, I could have. I would put in a bigger one, but I don't really have much IDE hard drives. But unlike the other one, the screen works. Well, I did get, get the original charger, which is a legit IBM charger, which is nice. Keyboard, I actually enjoy. But one thing you probably know if you've watched a couple of my videos, I don't like ThinkPads, so most ThinkPads very much. See that? That's not even. Even when you close it, this it doesn't line up on both sides. Even the battery, I, I hate the ones that stick out only on one side. So as you probably tell, I didn't really have any plans for this laptop. I did like the keyboard, but uh, I just I really hate that screen. And also, the screen is square, on like a rectangular screen, like modern laptops. And most applications didn't really fit well on the that kind of size screen. There's a Windows Professional 32-bit edition on this computer. CUA, I'm not going to show you that. But, however, I'm going to turn it on. Battery still holds a charge. Originally, I was... Originally, there was XP on here, but... I was using this for something else, so I needed a bit more modern version of Windows. Hey, before this computer completely boots up, which might take like half a minute, um, try to guess which version of Windows is on here. Any guesses? Write down in the comments, see which one you guessed. Or just look at it now. So one thing I hate about this computer, it uses this kind of RAM. Standard DDR RAM. I was just thinking just use DDR2. Well, thank goodness I didn't use PC SD RAM or PC 133. So uh, let's go to system specifications. Pentium M, which is a 32 bit processor, which limited the versions of Windows on it.
As you can see, I'm not even using the standard Windows background because that thing is taxing on this computer. Before, things would take forever to load. So I just put this on here so at least it wouldn't eat up so much of the system resources. I even didn't want to use Chrome because of that single stick of RAM. See the 80 gig hard drive? So I chose Firefox or this or Internet Explorer. I actually really don't even like Internet Explorer. And like I just mentioned, Google eats too much RAM and is a complete memory hog. So I just use Firefox, which at least could move around freely. Let's go to um, CNN. I really like the keyboard, though. I just wish the rest of the laptop wasn't like this. As you can probably tell, I liked Apple's designs where they kept it simple. If anything now, I would want a PowerBook G4, which I still hope one day that someone would drop off of the re recycling center. Like the YouTuber V Westlife, which I also recommend as a YouTuber to go watch tech videos. He got one. I I wish I hope one day that I could <laughs> that someone will drop one off of there because I've I always wanted a PowerBook G4. Even though you can't run Windows, well, any emulation really higher than Windows XP. There's Windows 7 emulation, but uh. The most common one is Virtual PC 7, which I would actually like to try, but <laughs> I would I would not mind a power look. Hoping for the 1.67 gigahertz model being just dropped off somewhere or cheap enough on eBay. Anyway, scrolling is fine. We'll have to give it a little time to load, so it's fine. Go to YouTube. I actually had a little bit of trouble with this computer. Like when I reinstalled Windows XP, because when I found out the recycling center with its brother, this one had like a bad installation. Like it was broken. Like sometimes it would boot up to Windows, sometimes it would just freeze and then tell me you need to restart. So actually, I just got angry and I just wiped it and then reinstalled Windows. Which actually turned out a terrible idea because then it was missing drivers for the Ethernet. And actually, I didn't know there was a wireless card in here until I found the drivers for it, which were nice. Sadly, it's brother, when I tried the driver solution on it, it there was no wireless card. And I don't feel like cracking open the entire computer just to add one. I'd rather run it through Ethernet or put it in a PMCIA card bus Wi-Fi adapter to get Wi-Fi. Or, I don't know, mini USB dongle in there. But the only problem, it only has two ports, which is terrible. I mean, you could put a PMCA card bus in there and get more USB ports, but standard, it only has two, and they're on this, on the right there, and it's, like, really bad, because then I can't plug in a mouse and keyboard unless the keyboard already has USB ports on, or I use a hub. And sadly, the max RAM you can put in here is only 2 gigabytes. And th since it has an IDE hard drive, you're kind of limited for putting in SSDs. And there's ways around it, like using Compact Flash, like what LGR did. Or Drago 1 used an SD card adapter IDE. There's ways around it, but getting an IDE SSD is kind of hard. They made one for uh, for the netbooks. They made like little 16 gigabyte ID SSDs, but they're not like really big, so you can't really do much.
Surprising this original battery can still get like up to three hours. Well, you can probably see where it, there's like a little X on it saying that needs to be replaced. I'm not really gonna do that because it's still the battery and it goes away. I think it only popped up because I had it, it was plugged in. I do like ThinkPads, I just wish they were somewhat simple. They just didn't look slapped together. Probably because I have one stick of RAM that the computer is having trouble. Even when I was doing something with this computer, the computer was bottlenecking so much that I actually went and took apart the other laptop, well, just the bottom slot, and put in a 512 meg stick of RAM so I could at least do something without the computer bottlenecking to the point where I can't do anything. Alright, so before I get copyright striked. Well, anyway, I was sort of promoting his video if you want to count that, but there's no games on the computer, so I'm just gonna go to a site I saw some kit on. There's actually a YouTuber, I think, named OG Talks. He's actually saying most of the people will actually just buy cheap laptops like this just for school, which you can actually do with this laptop. It's very possible. There's nothing really stopping you besides that Pentium M and that DDR RAM. There's one gig in this machine. Man, there's an empty slot, so you could just max it out two gigs. The thing I don't like about these laps these kind of laptops is that the RAM is, for this kind of model, a full disassembly is needed just to get to the other RAM slot. Like even the Dell at 2D630, um, it was hard to get to, but it you undo the keyboard and you undo three screws and you could get to it. This one, you need to take apart like 20 screws. In an upcoming video, uh, there's two laptops, the ThinkPad T61, which is coming in an upcoming video. Both RAM slots are underneath the Palmeris, so I don't understand why the IBM did this. Even that one of my main ThinkPads I use, which kind of is suffering the same issue as this one, where the screen is like off put to the center. However, it's not as bad. I don't understand why that one. One RAM slot's on the bottom, and then you undo the keyboard, same as the Dell Latitude D630, and then the other RAM slot is there, so it is like, I don't understand. Why could they just put both on the under bottom of the computer? But that's just me. Yeah, see this screen? That's what I'm talking about. Those things are designed for rectangular screens, not these old school square screens. But you can't scroll. This one's a little taxing on the computer, especially if you're streaming it through the browser. Seventy one percent, not bad. I'll click there, not there. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I really hate Flash. Like I'm like when the iBook guy or Epic guy said.
I cannot tell you how many issues I've ran into. You know what? I'm not in the mood to download this. Some game I heard of when the well, I saw when the Wi-Fi goes out. Thank goodness this doesn't require flash. Reminds me of Pong. Hey, comment down below before I die and see how far I can get. Take a while to guess. can't see the computer's actually bottlenecking a little bit because it's now it's like stuttering yeah okay. <laughs> not bad number <laughs> fun game I actually recommend it <laughs> and also remember to like comment rate and subscribe to see when I'm going to release new content, which is going to happen. I'm trying to keep this on a normal basis, maybe a couple videos a month. So, more subscribers means I'll do more content. But if you are looking for a cheap school laptop, I would recommend this. Uh, unless you're kind of like some OCD person. If you're not really OCD, um, I would recommend this for just a cheap school laptop. But um, anyway, that's about it for the moment. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>